everyone, how are you all doing today? I'm Michelle the Introvert, and today finds me at my daughter Stacy's house. Yes, my son Joshua and I are here to do up quite a few bags of hay for Stacy. She has quite a large order tonight, so we're here to help out and fill up a whole bunch of bags of hay. This is where she keeps it here, if you want to take a look. It's nice, fresh Timothy hay for small pets and for rabbits. This type of hay, the smaller animals love to eat, but they also like to use it for bedding as well. And this is from a local farmer, so it's nice and fresh. And Stacy gets a lot of sales for this. So that's why Joshua and I are here today, just to help Stacy out. So we're just gonna get started, my friends. We got Stacy's order all done for her, all ready for tonight. And right now Joshua is sweeping. That's what you can probably hear in the background. He's sweeping up the little pieces of hay that fell on the floor. And as for me, I think I'm going to head into the kitchen and get some lunch started. And then after lunch, Joshua and I are going to head on home. I've got a few things that I have to do at home as well. So busy, busy day today, but I'm really glad that you're all with us. So come on into the kitchen with me, my friends, and keep me company. Of course, when I come over to Stacy's, Joshua and I bring our lunch bag here, and I brought these two bottles of water. I had them in Stacy's fridge, so they're still nice and cold. And I'll show you what's inside the bag for our lunch. So I brought some of this Campbell's soup here. It's the chicken noodle. So I'm gonna cook some of that up for Joshua and I. And for our dessert, just something simple. I have two of these containers here of applesauce. These are always nice for when we go out and we have to pack a lunch. So that's what we're having for, for lunch today, my friends. Just something easy and basic. Just something easy and basic. My laundry soap here. I've got only a couple of loads to do today. There, that ought to do it. 
It's not too bad, but I usually do a little bit of laundry every day. And get this baby going again. I have some clothes in these baskets here. They're all cleaned, they're all folded. This one's Joshua's basket, and the one in the back is Gerald and my basket. And I have a few things I have to fold, so I'm going to take a basket into the living room and do that right now, actually. It's been quite a nice sunny day today, so I thought I'd take advantage of the sun, and I'll show you. I'm just going to put this basket down here on the couch. I have my sweaters here on my drying rack. There's two sweaters. These ones can't go into the dryer because they'll shrink if they do. So I'm taking advantage of the sunny day and drying these here. Plus there's a heater down at the bottom underneath there. So between the sun and the heater, th these won't take long to dry. In fact, well, they still have a little bit more ways to go, but they're almost dry. It won't be long. Josh was upstairs resting right now. He's on a routine, and usually when Joshua has lunch, he will rest after lunch. So he's upstairs resting right now. And I'm going to get a few chores done around the house. I try to get them done before supper time. And supper time is at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock pretty much every night. Gerald and I like to keep the routine, only because Joshua needs a routine. And it helps him out a lot. When he, Joshua's at Stacy's visiting with her, she keeps him on the same routine as well. It makes his day a lot easier for him. So my friends, I'm going to keep folding these towels. We've got a basket full, but it won't take me long. And then when I'm done, we'll head on into the kitchen. This was actually my grandmother's, and I prefer to wash this by hand. And then I have these cups here. <laughs> Some of these Stacy gave us, like this one here. This is full of soap, but Stacy gave us this one, and then I bought this one. They were on sale, and I thought, why not? So things that I don't put in the dishwasher, I wash by hand, but most of the dishes go in that dishwasher. These clothes here I'm about to take upstairs and I wanted to show you something that Gerald gave me for Christmas. That's quite nice. It's right over here actually. Boy the sun's really coming through that window really nice isn't it? It's that book right there. Have any of you heard of Maud Lewis? Maud Lewis was an artist that grew up here in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, and then she moved to Digby, and she married a man named Everett. <laughs> Forgot his name there for a minute. She married a man named Everett, but she was a lady that had some disabilities but despite her disabilities, she was a beautiful, beautiful artist. And I'll show you this book that Gerald gave to me for Christmas about Maud Lewis. Our Maud, The Life, Art and Legacy of Maud Lewis. And um, this is from the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. And this is what she painted. That's how she painted things like that. And I'll show you inside. They actually have a movie called Maudie, M-A-U-D-I-E. And I've seen it and it is very, very good. I'd like to see it again this year, actually. It, this is a really nice book. They have her house 
that she lived in in Digby, the house that she lived in in Digby, the little house. They have that actually in the Halifax Art Gallery. So if anybody is in the Halifax area, go we'll take a look at Maud Lewis's beautiful little house. The actual house she lived in with Everett. Maud and Everett, a sort of love story. There's a picture there of the two of them. And she has one of her paintings there. She used to sell them. Some people would rip her off. She would she would mention a price and they would try to get it for half. And she would sell it because they needed the money. But they knew what they were buying was quality. Look at her there. Isn't she a sweetheart? She was just a sweet little lady. So that's one of the Christmas presents Gerald gave me. And I just love this book. Yep, this is a really nice book. Well, my friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's been an unusual day, hasn't it? But it's been a productive day, I will say. And you can hear my dishwasher in the background there. Yes, it's in the background going. I like having machines in the house that help me with the chores. <laughs> Makes my job a lot easier, that's for sure. Oh, and as an update, um, there is an update that I wanted to share with you all. I have been getting requests from several viewers that have been asking me to get a P.O. Box number like for, from the post office. So this year I'm going to work on getting a P.O. Box, a post office box, my friends. And as soon as I get a P.O. Box, I will have that posted right there on the screen for you to, um, to see. And um, if any of you want to send correspondence or funny jokes or anything like that, that would be great. <laughs> that would be fun, I think. And uh, I just thought I'd share that little note with you that that is something I'm going to be working on for this year. And I'll keep you all posted and keep you updated on what's happening there. And I thank you guys again for keeping me company. You guys are great company. And if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up. I almost said the YouTube Christmas thumbs up. I got into a habit of saying that. <laughs> next year. I'll say it again next year. <laughs> If you like this YouTube vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. And I have more vlogs coming up. So stay tuned, my friends, and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.